Anniversaries mark the passage of time. 50 years is a good age to reflect on the changes that occur in one's life. Pastor Paul Abioye, a pastor of Winners Chapel in Biabong, is one of the beneficiaries of God's blessings as he organizes a birthday celebration to mark 50 years of God's faithfulness in his life. The event, which took place at Dwellers Event Center, a wet housing estate, had in attendance great men of God from within and outside the state, as well as high-profile personalities in the state, including Pastor Wimandresian, the State Accountant General, Right Honorable Sonny Boot, estate governor and Bureau of Political and Legislative Affairs in Water Resources, amongst others. Memories TV was there to pick clips for your viewing delight, some of which include the grand entrance made by the celebrant and why. <laughs> To set the tone for the celebration, the choir group spiced up the arena with melodious musical rendition of both hymns and praises. The situation comedy skit was presented by a drama group to thrill the audience. As we all gather to celebrate our father, Pastor Paul Abioye at 50, I pray we will all gather to celebrate him at 100 and 150 and 200. If that is your prayer for him, shout a big hallelujah. Sing, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Daddy, we would love to sing a song for you. Ms. Serena Abi Biala sent a powerful birthday wish to the celebrant through her spoken words presentation. Let me make a joyful noise and shout at the top of my voice, for I have no special trumpet to invite the celebrant to the red carpet. I wouldn't even blow the fog horn or sound the loudest gong. But let me write this birthday song just to bless your life and make it long. I wish you more grace and more years. I wish you no trace of any tears. No misfortune shall ever befall you. And your glory days shall not be few. Your birthday wishes shall be celebrated all through. From Atibaka Serena to Pastor Paul Abuye. The guest minister, Pastor Joba Emmanuel, in his message, admonished Christians to let God use them so that they can have a fulfilled destiny. Let God use you more. The more God uses a man, the more fulfilling the man will be. And as God uses you, don't let it gush or get into you. It is not possible to fulfill destiny without being used of God. As a matter of fact, when God began to use a man and people thought the man is wasting his life, it's a good way to be wasted when you are used by God. And one thing about God is, God will not force himself on any man. God told our Father and the Lord, Dr. David Oedipo, that if he messed up with the opportunity he has given him, he has more than a thousand people that he can use to replace him. Nobody is indispensable by God. Let God use you more. What you are seeing today is because of the level of the impact you have made. 
The celebrant in his speech gave thanks to God for keeping him alive to witness his 50th birthday. He also appreciated everyone who came around to felicitate with him. I'm short of words, but I'm grateful to God. And the Bible says it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. And to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. To show forth your loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. What we are just doing today is showing forth God's faithfulness. Oh, my destiny. I'm not sure I'm qualified to live, but I'm alive today just by the grace of God. And this is the reason why we are here today, thanking God and celebrating because of His faithfulness. Pastors who were present at the event gathered to pray for the celebrant and his family. Lord, standing in the shoe of your servant, the state pastor, in unity, we lift up your servant. His ministry will not go down. Amen. Lord, on a certain day in 2015, you spoke expressly to me going to church. You said, tell someone I will give that person a very good and wonderful sleepless night. And I said, what is the meaning of this? He said, if they give him an aircraft and bring the news to him around 2 midnight, will he sleep? I said, no. I decree in the name of Jesus, if you have sleepless night at all, it will be a very good one. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you have reason to share tears at all, it shall be tears of joy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your ministry will not go down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The celebrant son appreciated his father for being a good driving force in their lives. Testimonies were received from churches from LMA, Port Harcourt, Wari, Bonnie Island, Mbiabong, as well as family members and friends. I just have to be here today to mark my beloved pastor. He has been so good to us today in LMA, especially my family. And I did it feel today. Come some, come shine to come and witness and also celebrate with my pastor for his 50th birthday. Glory be to God. Amen. So on behalf of the people of Eleme that are here and that are not here, I say, my pastor, congratulations, sir. And God bless you. God continue to keep you for us and preserve you for Lord in Jesus' name. The celebrant today, I must tell you, is my spiritual godfather. When he was posted to worry, I was not a deacon. But before he left to worry, most of us here were ordained under his tutelage as a pastor to become deacons. But there's a very special aspect of him. He's a man that leaves his footprint wherever place he has served. Pastor is a father, he's a mentor, he's a trainer. Praise the Lord. He's a very straightforward man doesn't joke with his work and he's a mover. Praise the Lord. In his words, the state superintendent Living Faith Church, Uyo, Pastor Triumphant Obama, described the celebrant as a sincere, humble, and focused individual and prayed that he should leave to witness more celebrations ahead. Pastor Paul Abue is an amazing person. I, uh, I don't think he has ever hurt anybody. He's a very humble, make focused sincere god fearing person um he's a very gentleman very quiet he's a very humble man i've known him for many years now more than 10 years i'm standing on behalf of the entire living faith church acquired state and i'm also standing on behalf of the leadership of the commission to say happy birthday to you. Amen. These golden years will go bring your way golden blessings. Amen. The chairman of the occasion, Pastor Sunny Ibot, prayed for God's blessings and further endow the celebrant more wisdom to excel in life. I want to thank every one of us that have come up here to grace this occasion. I believe that anybody that is not up to 50 here who shall be up to 50. The event climaxed as the celebrant and family gathered to cut the anniversary cake, followed by toasts. 
ten, five. Be ready. Daddy, be careful. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hallelujah. And he got the cake, Rich Girl. <laughs> and then to the greatest man that has come at this season to take Living Faith Church and be able to the next level. As we lift our glasses, we say, hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Happy. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Memories TV took comments from friends, colleagues, and guests present. God should use him as a channel of blessing to bless the people of this area because he's a pastor of Living Faith Church in Dabon. And at the end of the day, that his stay in Uyo should be a memorable one so that people would not easily forget about what he has done here. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord and his faithfulness for my pastor for making him to turn 50 years. 50 years is not a joke. So I bless him with the blessings of the Lord. I pray for more anointing for many years and God will continue to keep the family. They keep celebrating in everything they do in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, pastor Paul Abia has been a father, a mentor, a good friend. And sincerely, my entire family is also here because we have come here to wish him well. Pray that God will continue to enlarge his coast and prosper him and give him many more fruitful years. Congratulations, Pastor Paul Abioye, on your Golden Jubilee.